Hey everyone, good morning. Uh, I'm Richa, co-founder of Ethereum Push Notification Service. And we are here for a lightning conversation about why Web3 communication matters. And we're gonna talk about the what and the why, friends of EPNS, future wag me together. I'll come to what that means later in the presentation and any questions and answers that you have. So let's get started. Awesome, so before we kickstart the presentation, we like to uh, showcase a Good Vibes video just to get the conversation going. So here it goes. Superb. Okay, so what are we and what do we do? Uh, we are building the missing piece of Web3, uh, the communication middleware protocol. Uh, so right now, just think about it. When you wake up in the morning, you have a whole bunch of notifications, say, on your mobile home screen. Maybe services like FedEx or your bank or credit card that are trying to reach out to you because they ha you have given consent for them to let you know when an important action needs to be taken care of. But right now in Web3, there's no way by which services, uh, by services I mean smart contracts, dApps, or any Web3 service is able to reach to its user. Uh, and in Web3, we are user wallets. So that is what we are building. We are building the missing piece of Web3 that allows any Web3 service to reach to their user or user wallets. Uh, let me just elaborate on that. So since we are at NFT NYC, uh, how many people by show of hands over, have, over here have NFTs? Okay, we have like serious NFT collectors here. So great. For example, if you're into NFTs and your favorite artist is dropping a collection, uh, there's no way in a native decentralized Web3 way by which Web3 services, uh, Web3 smart contracts can reach out to you and let you know that your favorite artist has dropped a collection. Or if your bid has been outbidded, you always have to go back to the platform to check that. Uh, in case you are into DAOs and a new uh, governance proposal is up for voting, uh, DAOs are not able to reach to their users, to their community to let them know that, hey, why don't you vote on this new governance proposal? Same for DeFi. Uh, we see right now with the way the market is, millions of dollars get liquidated, uh, but services or platform and protocols are not able to notify their users about loan liquidation. You could just put in um, a collateral in case that was going to happen. So identifying all of these pain points, we are building the communication middleware for Web3, which is an open communication layer that can send communication out to user wallets in an open manner. So we are starting with notifications, which are dynamic. Uh, these are not just simple text. They can be a call to action. It can be an image. It can be a video, and so much more. Uh, we are multi-chain, gasless, and platform agnostic. When I say platform agnostic, it means that any crypto front end can just tap into the EPNS network and can show these notifications to the user wallets. And coming to the friends of EPNS, so these are all awesome collaborators and projects that we are working with. We are working with some of the top projects, uh, Aragon, Banker, uh, DYDX, uh, OSS, Decentraland. So in case you are a smart contract or you are a, um, a, a platform that wants to use EPNS, uh, just reach out to us when, and we are happy to collaborate. Finally, the future of Web3. Uh, we think Web3 is like we were, like in the previous panel, the panelists were discussing, we are all going to be users of Web3 and not like users of say Ethereum or Solana. So we look at communication being in the similar fashion that the communication will be uh, multi-chain, it will be a user of, say, a Solana, should be able to talk to a user of Ethereum. And uh, 
the communication needs to be open. So right now, we are starting with notification, but in the future, we are going to be doing uh, messaging, Web3 chat, uh, wallet to wallet communication. Um, like I said, Ethereum, user, uh, Ethereum users should be able to reach out to a non EVM user as well, and we will be supporting that as well. Uh, and finally, since we are at NFT NYC, uh, although we are a Web3 infrastructure project, we also like to have a little fun, and we have something known as Rockstars of EPNS. So these are uh, 100 curated. Uh, India-themed uh, NFTs that we give out to the community every Monday, every week uh, for one year. And if you are uh, if you are a project that would want to have notifications in there, or if you are a content creator and would like to create some cool uh, content around EPNS, uh, you would be eligible to uh, receive a Rockstar NFT with uh, 900 push in it. Uh, so yeah, do uh, uh, do try it out, and we just launched the volume two of Rockstars of EPNS at NFT NYC. Uh, and finally, yeah, uh, you can join us at EPNS Project on Twitter or Telegram, and also on Discord. We are pretty active. And I think I. I'm done with my presentation, so thank you so much. Uh, we are around. If you have any questions, happy to answer them for you.